The Monaco Grand Prix might be notorious for its lack of action, but Ferrari had other plans over the weekend. They made some huge errors, which gave Red Bull the advantage in both the Constructors' and Drivers' Championships. But is there a chance at redemption for the Scuderia, or is their season slipping away from them already? Let's check it out. After the Monaco Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc wasted no time in voicing his frustrations following the Ferrari pit wall's implosion. Let down is not the word, he said. Sometimes mistakes can happen, but there have been too many mistakes today. I'm used to getting back home disappointed, but we cannot do that, especially in a moment now where we're extremely strong. We need to take opportunities. I love my team. We'll come back stronger, but it hurts a lot. We cannot afford to lose so many points like this. It's not even from first to second, it's from first to fourth, because after the first mistakes, we've done another one. As a Monegasque, winning the Monaco Grand Prix would be a dream come true for Leclerc. You can't overstate how huge it would be for him and the city. No Monegasque has ever won Formula 1's most prestigious race. Before the 2022 Grand Prix, Leclerc had failed to finish the Grand Prix in his previous three attempts, and during the historic Grand Prix there earlier in the year, he crashed Nicky Lauda's 1974 Ferrari. Coming into the race, he was a close second in the Drivers' Championship, despite being arguably the fastest driver on the grid so far this season. Driving mistakes and a retirement in Spain had given Max Verstappen the lead in the Drivers' Championship, but after qualifying, no one would have bet against Leclerc winning the Monaco Grand Prix. He was almost three tenths of a second faster than second place Carlos Sainz in qualifying. Considering how hard it is to overtake in Monaco, he should have been able to drive away from the field and comfortably win. The Ferrari pit wall had other ideas though, and their terrible decision making ended in a strategic collapse on a scale that's completely unacceptable for a top F1 team. It was a freaking disaster today. Fume Leclerc, who gained a five second lead over Sainz in the early stages of the race. The win was clear in our hands. We had the performance, we had everything. I just don't really understand the call that I had, and I need explanations for now. I couldn't do much. I was called just before the last corner, so I couldn't react or ask for any information. But that was clearly the wrong choice. We need to get better. The Ferrari driver has every right to be fuming at his team. They made huge mistakes that are completely inexcusable. It's the effect on the drivers and the constructors' championship that will hurt Charles and the team more, though. In the drivers' championship, Max Verstappen pulled a further three points ahead of Charles. Three points might not seem like the end of the world, but when you consider that Leclerc had a 46 point lead over Verstappen four races ago and now sits nine points behind him, it's hard to comprehend how such a collapse could happen. The mistakes at Monaco followed an incredibly disappointing Spanish GP. In Barcelona, Charles also looked like he would win comfortably before his turbo and MGUH broke, forcing him to retire. It appears that these mistakes are starting to take their toll on the Ferrari team as a whole, not just Charles Leclerc. Mattia Binotto gave a very honest assessment of the team's performance after the Monaco Grand Prix. First, we need to admit, if you are leading the race and then you're finding yourself in fourth position, we may have done something wrong, said Binotto. So we certainly made mistakes in our judgment and we make mistakes in our calls. What is the process which brought us to made mistakes? I think the first mistake was underestimating the pace of the intermediates and the gap we had to the other cars in terms of track position, explained the Ferrari team principal. And I think we made a mistake as well because we should have called him earlier, at least a lap earlier. Or if not as we did, we should have stayed out and simply stayed on the extreme wets, taking, I think, the lead position and then maybe switching directly onto the dries. Thanks to those mistakes, Ferrari are now 36 points behind Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship and Charles Leclerc is 9 points behind Max Verstappen in the Drivers' Championship. It might only be a small lead for now, but Ferrari need to be capitalizing on their current car, which is the fastest on the grid. The odds of Red Bull improving the RB18 to a point where they can challenge the Scuderia is growing with every race. And when they do, Ferrari won't find Red Bull making mistakes for them to capitalize on. Do you think Ferrari are throwing away their chances at challenging for a title? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, please subscribe to F101 and I'll see you in the next video.